The tension only escalated when the issue of having Cyborg say Booyah arose. That phrase had become a signature of the character thanks to an animated Teen Titans show, but the character had never said it in the comics or in the original script. Fisher says that Johns had approached Snyder about including the line, but the director didn't want any catchphrases. He managed, to, he managed the situation by putting the word on some signs in his version of the film as an Easter egg, but John's reps say that the studio believed the Booyah line was a fun moment of synergy. Fisher says he doesn't see the word in itself as an issue, but he thought it played differently in a live action film than the animated series. And he thought of black characters in pop culture with defining phrases, Gary Coleman's What You Talking About Willis, Jimmy Walker's Dynamite, as no one else in the film had a catchphrase, he says, it seemed weird to have the only black character say that. With reshoots underway, Fisher and says Whedon raised the issue again. Jeff tells me Cyborg has a catchphrase, he told him. Fisher says he expressed his objections, and it seemed the matter was dropped until Berg, the co chairman of DC Films and a producer on the project, took him to dinner. This was one of the most expensive movies Warners had ever made, Berg said, according to Fisher. What if the CEO of AT&T had a son or daughter and that son or daughter wants Cyborg to say booyah in the movie and we don't have a take of that? I could lose my job. Fisher responded that he knew if he filmed the line, it would end up in the movie. And he expressed skepticism that the film's fate rested on Cyborg saying booyah. But he shot the take as he arrived on set. He says, Whedon stretched his arms out and said a line from Hamlet in a mocking tone. Speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you. Fisher replied, Josh, don't. I'm not in the mood. As he left the set, after saying just that one phrase for the cameras, he says, Whedon called out, nice work, Ray. Time. So, Ray Fisher, again, after collaborating with Zack Snyder and Chris Terrio, after they finished principal photography, he thought them saying Booyah because it was popular in an animated series, although it had nothing to do with comics or the original script. He expressed his concerns. He did not want to do it, but him being a professional, after they said they could lose their jobs, said the line. He was being a professional. He said the line. But as a fan myself, that's total bullshit. That's so. Oh my God, really? You could lose your job if you don't say booyah? When I'm pretty sure all of them were concerned about losing their job when AT&T was about to buy Time Warner? This is, they're so full of shit. Oh my God, man. Wow. All because of the line booyah. Which meant nothing in 2017's Justice League. S seriously, booyah, it meant nothing. If you've seen the movie, did it make Cyborg worse in Zack Snyder's Justice League because he didn't say booyah? No, because nobody gave a fuck. Wow. We continue. Even before that line was shot, Fisher's agent had called Warner Film Studio Chief Emmerich to raise concerns about what was happening on set. After Fisher arrived in Los Angeles for additional photography in summer 2017, Johns asked him to come to the D.C. offices in Burbank. When they met in a conference room, Fisher said he had apologized to Whedon for his part in the conflict, which he had done in hope of preventing a real rupture with the D.C. team. Johns responded that having agents call Emmerich was just not cool. Fisher recalls he said, I consider us friends, which he knew we were not. And I just don't want you to make a bad name for yourself in the business. Fisher took that as a threat. John's reps say he never made a threat, but told Fisher that creative differences were not normally taken to the head of the film studio by an actor's agent. Pause. Well, if Josh Whedon ain't, you know, listening. And again, Josh Whedon is, remember, he said, it feels like I'm taking notes. I'm not listening to you. Then he goes to Jeff Johns, and Jeff Johns is, does pretty much nothing. 
John Bird takes him out to dinner and says, we could lose our jobs if we don't say booyah. Ridiculous, man. Just, wow. 